Alright. Good morning everyone. Kind of got a little bit of a late start here. Simply because we needed for the water to come in. Now we're at our favorite pinfish hole. Excuse me, I'm trying to trying to film some stuff here. Got a little professional uh, courtesy from you there, big guy. A lot of noise. Anyway, whoa. we got to jig up a bunch of pinfish because tonight is the Florida LSU game. And I'm thinking, why not have a little Cajun style redfish? That'd go nice. So we bait first, and then we go try to catch a redfish. Tide's still about an hour and a half coming in, so we got a full incoming tide today. And then depending upon how we do, we will have first of the Algonquin tide. Yep, there we go. Uh, that's, that's a trout bait right there. So, we're going to get a bunch of pinfish throw the top water plug a little bit and see what happens so stay tuned got about a dozen pinfish or so all different sizes and shapes so now we're going to get to our if we can get to it still still thin water here See another paddle boater off in the distance. Stay tuned. I'm gonna bet this is a stingray. <laughs> and a rather large one. Stupid stingrays. Oh well. Let's get a little bit better angle on him since he's trying to run against the tide. Yep. All right. All right. Get off me grass. At least I think he's a stingray. Maybe he's one of those giant redfish. But the closer he gets, Adios, Stingray. Broke did everything. All right, re-rig time. This is off to the off to the red. 
races. God, I think that's a shark. As fast as he's going. It is a big old bonnet head. Look at that. All right. <laughs> he is not joking. Now see, back in the day, you talk about a good bait for beach fishing sharks. These bonnet heads. These guys are nothing but muscle. Get a better grip. Yeah, yeah. Bonded head. Okay. You good? You good? Okay. <sighs> and we're snagged. All right. Need a redfish. Let's move to that point over there. All right, we got something on the anti stingray. Turning the canoe over. Damn. Come here. All right. That, that, if he's a keeper, is our LSU Florida Din Din tonight. Let me get him unraveled and we'll measure him. Stay tuned. All right, he's legal, but just barely. So, I know I'm probably, probably pushing the luck here, but I'm going to let him go and try to get one a little bit bigger for dinner tonight. This is probably the kiss of death, but we'll see. So, you gone. All right, pressure's on. There was dinner. <laughs> Stay tuned. So what I'm trying to do here as an experiment, since I'm getting killed, by stingrays is take these smaller pinfish, cut the dorsal off, cut the tail off, put it on a cage and thunder, float it. In these areas where I see mullet and all kinds of other fish breaking the surface, so. All right, let me get situated. I got the, stay with me, squid. All right, 
we got one of the flat lines out and now we're going to put the cork line back out and drift it through this here this here sound like a good old boy this area here again oh, we just <laughs> just flung the pinfish off all right stay tuned all right we're making a move cut across there's a little creek mouth over there We've had some action on before that was not a bad spot picked up one keeper redfish but threw him back big giant stingray and then a nice bonnet hit so what we'll do is get across here and post up and see what happens beautiful day out here today all right stay tuned There he is right there. That was a redfish. Up a darn. Right there. Right there. <laughs> I spit it right back. Oh, okay. You messed up my hook, dude. Oh. No wonder you spit it. That gum hook was buried. All right. Try him again. <laughs> Good redfish. Uh, stay on. That might be the exact same one that just spit the hook. Oh, there goes the bait. Yep. Untangle thine self. Oh, come on now. There you go. <laughs> All right. That may be football dinner. All right. Let me get you untangled here. all over the jerk. All right. He is 22 and a half. Guess where he's going? That is Cajun, Cajun redfish dinner for tonight. All right, that's redfish number two. Let's see if we can't catch another one. Stay tuned. What happens when you try to up oh, there he is he is there okay ladyfish bluefish something I think something just cut me off something just cut me off did he cut me off or just pull a hook Just pulled the hook. All right, let's take a minute. We need to refurb some of our. Let's get you 
fresh pinfish. This is going to catch a trout. Some hadn't seen the boil. Gotta be nice if this is a huge trout. What do we got? What do we got? Shark, shark, another bonnet head. Yep. Whoa, whoa. Uh huh. Sure, you're gonna give me my hook back, are you? Nope. I don't believe you are. Alright, man, I ain't gonna reach in there either. Nope. A little bit bigger bonnet head. Now, thank you for that. <laughs> oh, all right. Time to wee wig. I think we'll switch spots too. Something. Let's see. He either dropped it or he's swimming at me. There we go, there we go, and now. Yep. Damn. All right. That's a redfish, I believe. Damn sure he's digging in. Come on. Yep. Yep. All right. This was a good one. This. Yep. Bumping. 
20, 23, pinch the tail, about 23 and a half. All right, not bad, not bad. Since we got one, there you go. Come on, there you go. All right, that is three redfish, two sharks, one giant stingray. Not bad, not bad for a morning. We're right about 12:30, three quarters of the way into the incoming tide. They're eating cut pinfish, fresh cut, fresh caught cut pinfish. Big time. I'd like to have a nice trout. Let's see a. Uh, See if we can do something about that here shortly. Cool, clear water. Stay tuned. Damn. I'm on a bet, shark, but you never know. Freaking battle stations. Ow! <laughs> Alright. How about jumbo redfish? How about jumbo trout? Frickin' shark. Dad gum. A little bit different kind. Shark nose. Is it? No, bonnet head. Okay. Yet another bonnet head. Mr. Bonnet Head, won't you ride my white horse? I want my hook back. I'll wave to airboat guy. How's it going, airboat guy? Fly away, be free. I got my hook back, so I'm happy. <laughs> 